Hey guys, Tarry up here, bring you a 2v2 today. We are on Crossing in the Woods. Maybe today spawning in the north, we have Niklas playing as Soviets, who has mechanized support, armored assault, and Soviet combined arms. I believe this is God's an astronaut, but not 100% on that. Teaming up with him is Jibba, as US forces, who has heavy cavalry, recon support, and infantry. From the south we have Make A Wish, is OKW who has Overwatch, Elite Armoured, and Special Operations. And finally PS3, yes, <coughs> excuse me, also is OKW with Special Operations locked in immediately. In terms of rankings here, Allied Arrange Team in the high 80s. Uh, Axis Randoms, PS3, yes around 40 and make a wish around 70. Damage there from the stern piles on the far side. Opportunity is arriving allowing the win across the board for PS3 is going off to a strong start there. Niklas not having enough units we have found the enemy. to be able to win that. At our disposal. Tank trap up on the fuel, no wire off on that yet. Wiring off at this stage is a little bit less fruitful though since the cool wagon can quite easily crush that. But still, you know, if you're idle, you might as well put it down. This one coming in from the side here, they're going to cross. Oh, pressure on the Kubals, getting very low, not going to be able to get the kill here though, Jibber. Unfortunately. Oh boy, there's some stern pies in the retreat. Okay, no, they're not going to be able to hang about. The old blob coming through for Niklas. Engineers ready for assignment. Charging straight down the center. Maybe you're going to go for some cutoff action. The enemy has taken our supply sector. Make a wish off the field at the moment. Going to push on to the cutoff here, but the rest of the army back at base. Enemy forces capturing supply sector. No, coming for a flank. Still had uh, these conscripts a little bit low in health. Here comes the flamer now. Might be a little bit late into the fight. Slow getting out of the building here. Conscripts are dropping fast. He's not going to be able to merge into this flamer. But a relatively early retreat there from PS3. Yes, maybe looking to conserve some manpower. And that might allow Nicholas to uh, get the win here. Ooh, does lose the conscripts on retreat though. Nice move from PS3. Yes. And throw working well though, we've got the rifleman arriving for reinforcements. See if he can get a what? Well, I thought he might go for a couple model drops there, but really retreat on the flamer. Pretty healthy, you know. I'm not entirely sure why he retreated at that timing. He's got a second combat engineer if he needed to build any tech, so it's a strange retreat timing. I think I would have tried to stay in there, tried to knock two models off that stern pile if possible. Battle group coming up for PS3. Yes, he did do that earlier retreat, but didn't have the med crates down yet. And he's putting down the battle group. Is he going to plant the med crates? Yes, he is. I, was gonna say, I think it's, it's probably worth it, you know, with two squads that low. Third squad can also benefit. But in the meantime, with Jibber coming across to this side. His side of the map undefended. It's gone for a fourth rifleman squad, by the way. Don't see that too often. Maybe indicating that he's going to go for infantry company. Might be equipping some M1919s. Getting behind the tank trap here, but still badly outnumbered and. The cover positions on the tank trap, not really that suitable for more than about six models, so. Wasn't offering the best cover. Senpai's briefly thinking about wire. K 
cancelled it. Gonna go back onto it now. Gotta be careful. I feel like there's a potential to get stuck over here. Let's try and make sure that doesn't happen. Alright. Here come the guards. Pretty early timing for guards. So they should be uh, strong. Niklas not going for any tech so far. Doesn't even have tier 2 down. Pretty strong push overall from Make-A-Wish. And spraying away from the side here. Better retreat again from Niklas. Merging into the guards. Got, I was going to actually suggest merging in with that squad, but he's getting some very early retreats on these conscripts. You know, I think, it's, I think it's not really necessary. A few of these circumstances. Whichever on the run now from the center has gone. Put a captain anti your half track out quickly. Maybe use the supervisor. I wasn't paying attention. Seemed like that was pretty fast build time. There's a mine right here though. Could actually get triggered if the uh, anti is sat down. Actually, his main gun firing. Oh, big damage rear armor here. This could be the end of the Kubel. Indeed, it is. I think the Thompson model's still firing as well, so big Order DPS at that range up. with that Thompson. Results in the kill. Okay, Jibba is indeed going infantry and uh, feeling himself a more to half track. Not a lot of static targets at the moment, but. Good thing about the mortar half tracks is they're quite mobile, so. Good at like switching from target to target quickly, rotating to find opportunities as well. We're sweeping coming in here from the stern pies, spotting all these mines. But maybe Jibber able to fire off a mortar shell could trigger the mine. Who's going to sweep it first or the mine? No, nope. swept. Jumps into the building. Grenades out. Ooh, threw them through the building though. Big damage. Well done there. But Pistrius can throw them through the building. Remember, you just gotta be not too close to it. It looked like he was like right on the building. Felt like you know, in my previous testing that wouldn't have worked too well. But yeah, you want to avoid being close to the doors. And uh too close to the walls as well to throw through the building. Bit of a uh, stern pie flank coming in here. Early retreat, and I think that one's justified. Sees the raketen coming as well for Jibber. Jibber's killing the building. He's had enough of it, and there's a mine down here. Uh oh. Ooh, those mines. For the OKW team striking hard there. Jibber losing that. Got a couple M1919s coming through now. Oh boy, this could be trouble with the motor half track here. About to go down. Ooh, I think he lost sight, forced into the attack round, and it does not find its mark. Very close call, though. Think you were quite lucky to get away with that. But yes, so far the double OKW team really taking it to the allies. Got a T70 out now for Niklas, but you know, maybe a little bit on the late side. Maybe about a minute later than you'd hope for. But here we go. Got a bunch of troops coming in now. Should be able to flush out almost everything from this side. M1919 is not the best against Jaeger Lights since you know, long range engagements tend to involve a bit more cover to cover fighting. And that's 
where the Jaeger lights really shine. T7 getting some big hits in here. Got the Rakitten and the Blob rolling up. The Echelon seeing this coming through the center. T7 takes a shot, having some pathfinding issues around those trees. Oh boy, late retreat from Jibba, and he loses his rear Echelon. Very sloppy from him. The Blob and the fast clock on him. Flak base completing over here. Conscript's having to get out and could be a wipe on retreat as well. One down. Blob very powerful without the T70 here. Can't really shut this down. So they have to give up. And there's another costly loss for the allies. Really struggling at the start here. I think they've only got the Kubel wagon in return, right? Sandbag seeming to work pretty well actually. Haven't seen that positioning before, but seems to be going all right so far. Nine plants there. Jibber does have the mortar, so can barrage that trigger it. Looks like he might be on auto fire though. Barrage on cooldown. Part of the allies, you know, losing quite a bit. The territory control has been, you know, maybe close to even. Oh boy. Flat gun upgrading here. Gotta be quick on the retreat once they're up guns, especially clumped up on light cover like this. He's going into firing positions, but just retreats anyway. Pressure of the 211 too much. 1919 is getting to work there. Good dodge from the incendiary grenade. Rebuild on the rear echelon. I think that's smart because. There's been quite a few mines going down. And he needs that sweeper. T70 doing some good work there, but the Rakitten in a nice position. It's one shot through. That mine did not end up getting triggered. A few shots did come through there from the Mortar Half Track. Didn't find their mark though. Machine gun suppression wars there. Accidentally vaulting the cover, Niklas. Nineteen-nineteen's working well. Popping on me on the captain to boost up the firepower of that rifle squad. Put the Obers on the field. No LMG yet, though. Smoke on them as well. That's interesting. Definitely was advantaged even before the two-on-one happened with the LMG versus Vanilla. Bit two as well. Big itch for the uh, 1919 rifleman. Typically have an edge against the Ogres until the Ogres hit Vet uh, 2. Due to their Vet advantage at this phase of the game. A capture point is under attack. Even with the uh, LMG. Ooh. Mortar hit there. Shoot down the recon plane with the flak base and eventually does work out. It will be something that the allies have to contend with. Double OKW, double flak bases to shoot down those planes. Don't often see it in these 2v2s. Double OKW, not a very popular team. Jason down, hoping for the Captain YPS. This is looking a bit grim. Stops the chase and gets the wipe too. You could see as soon as that rifle shot connected, it was enough damage. Ooh, but there we go. Oba wipe. 
full retreat from PS3, yes. On cooldown from the uh, anti air modes. Getting in here, doing some good damage. Just a little bit further because the uh, gun's still on cooldown, but no further than that. Good timing to pull back as well with the raketon coming in. Still Niklas, okay, he's building up his support weapons now. T gun hit in the field. Sentry rounds activated and rear armor on this, so T70. Be careful. Is that the rear armor? It is. Quite a good chunk of damage. Got the M1919 rifleman coming in now as well. And there goes the MG, decrypt quickly. The kitten connects for one shot. Not enough to get the kill though. And a big old blob for PS3, yes. Hard to stop at the moment, you know. Jibber doesn't have any suppression. Has to go blob for blob. Niklas does, but not in position to hold this off at the moment. Hunter 4 is rolling out onto the field now. Slightly late retreat here from Jibber. This could cost him. He does have an anti tank gun, but it's on the far side. So, uh, nothing to stop the Panzer IV from chasing here. Panzer IV, some awkward movements, though, not staying right up close. He finally will have his hull gun firing now as well, though. Here comes the Bazooka Major. One suit connecting, rifleman closing in, looking for the snare. Not quite able to get it. Major taking a risk there. Could have gone down to another shot from the Panzer IV. And it looks like Make-A-Wish is not going to let him off the hook. Meanwhile, on the far side, anti-tank guns. It looks like it's solely Niklas's one taking care of that Panzer IV. No vet on Jibbers. Oh. AFH uh, cancelled. I was like, what? Well, <laughs> well, how, how? Was there a mine back here that I didn't see do a plant ages ago? What's going on? T70 on uh, recon mode there. Bazooka's on the rear echelon as well now. I have to, you know, worry. It's not a huge amount to spend your munis on in this commander, so you might as well equip some zooks. Don't have some excellent off map to try and save for. T gun coming in from this side. Jaeger Light's going to see that. Panzer IV backs a little bit further off. Now the Jaeger Light's cover's gone. So they're starting to lose very badly. In fact, late retreat there from Make a Wish. Still very close on the VPs in spite of the allies having some trouble. It's starting to stabilize now. A few zooks connecting there. I think those might have been attack round scatter shots. Good work from Jibber. I got the uh, howitzer rattling off some damage. Two kills so far on that. on the conscripts nearly getting wiped there but a big old Zis barrage could this be the end of the machine gun no it's just surviving clears off by the guards with the follow-up though good hit from the panzer four there katusha from niklas immediately it's a good map for a fast katusha trying to kill this off t70 in the smoke kitten spins around for it the switch is back over to the Panzer IV. Guards launching a grenade. T70 having to get out of there. Raketon is vetted up, but misses a shot there. And now at risk of getting wiped. Note gets out of range of the T70 just in time before the fall up hits. Tense stuff there. But in, uh, in the end. Looks like PS3 is going to be able to hold on to the machine gun. Jibber doesn't lose anything 
I mean, uh, the class doesn't lose anything on Jibbit as well. <laughs> Jackson first for Jibber. So he's pretty well handled in terms of anti-tank now. Maybe he's going to go for the Priest next. Let's see how Jibber operates with that. Jackson missing its first shot though. Branching out to the far side, capping the fuel. Jibber trying to make inroads over here. 1919 blob working well. Late retreat here from Make a Wish. This could be a wipe now. Jibber though retreating away from the Overs. Missing a wipe opportunity. Good damage onto the Panzer IV though with this positioning. Out on the road, not ideal. Even though he's just overwhelming him with firepower at this stage. 1919 blob working overtime there. Big damage. Oh, here comes the howitzer though. No hits so far. Jibba clearing the angle. Panzer four takes this shot. Jibba into tank grenade coming through. Double anti-tank grenades, in fact. Jackson chasing in for the wipe. The M1919's taking care of that Raketan very quickly. I don't know why the Jackson didn't chase, though. What's that? What's this? Okay. Just maybe a very weird scatter. On one of those pre shell I mean, uh, LF8 shells. Does manage to knock out the Raketan though, well done by Jibber. I do think the Panzer IV kill was open. Maybe he didn't want to chase him, maybe he's worried about the mines. So he's playing it safe. No, it's not going to be the Priest, it's going to be the Scot. It's <laughs> probably better than the Priest for uh, a lot less cost as well have the long range of course but more consistent certainly in 1v1 I found the priest not to really uh, hold up with uh, the shotgun tactics or whatever else I could manage abusing the creeping barrage it's just uh, Good enough. Can't work in the team game still, I think. Alright, fellas. Final checks. has it not fired yet? Doesn't have any veterancy. He's had it for quite a long time as well. Maybe, maybe he cancelled the barrage, like when it fired one rocket or something. Accidental early cancel. Or late cancel, whichever uh, way you want to take it. Oh boy, big hit from the Howie there actually. This could be trouble for Jibber now. The four is nearby. That's going down on the far side, actually. Uh-oh. Complaint up from Niklas. Now right, continuing to slam down. Lucas chasing the Panzer IV. Oh boy, what happened here? Why was the Panzer IV in that deep? Was he going for the Katusha? He must have been baiting... baited by the Katusha. And he just ran into all of the anti-tank. Ouch. One panther out has popped up the flare. 
I know that the uh, axes do have the Howie, or do they? The Howie died. The uh, recon plane post time on target. Howie did. Okay, they don't have the Howie. That's what the recon plane was for. Oh my god! Every shot penetrated on the Panther, and now it's dead. Unbelievable. Uh oh, oh, the smoke coming through. Can he get away with this somehow? Tech rounds all missing at the moment. Had a huge elevation issues. He might be able to jump in here and crawl away with this. T-Gun's under pressure. Backing away. Oh, the Raketan. Look at that mortar shell. Combining with the Scott, I think that was. Oh boy, and now it's a bit of a slaughter. Max is really getting blasted. Huge losses for them. Especially for PS3, it's losing a Panzer IV, Command Panther, Raketan, Machine Gun. But maybe the Panther still an option. He's coming in with the SU-85 to finish the job here. Shrek Squad needs to finish the job still. I think this tree, this tree is just somehow blocking the vision. Oh boy, is Nicholas going to go for the steel on this? We're getting retreating. Oh, but the ISG getting a nasty hit. And then the flat base, oh no, that steel's not going to work at all. So he kills it off. He's hopeful, but in the end of the end... Oh, costing himself a lot of manpower with that attempt. But hey, that would have been a game-winning play if he stole that Command Panther for sure. It's really fire popping into focus sight, getting a good hit in there. Bazooka on the ground. That was from the Major. It looks like it was. He's trying to recover it now. Connection from the Zooks, now getting out. Major quick to vet up. Recrew on the AT gun back there. Jibber not bring it forwards yet though. Allies uh, actually pulling ahead on the victory points at this stage. The capture point is under attack. Need to jump into the building here. Big Information of Fox Street is managing to weasel their way out the back, but T70 is there. Gonna chop them down pretty fast, but here comes the Raketan. Close range Kachucha Barrage. Avoids the damage, and the T70 ends up going down. Good work with the Raketan. Faust connecting now, the SU 85 could be in some trouble. Aggressive stuff here from PS3, yes. Double Zis sitting down, maybe gonna go for some Zis Barrage action. Kitten getting distracted though, maybe losing sight, going after the Scott. Scott still just hanging in there, fires off some smoke. Attack round missing. And he decides to get out. The Faust's going to be able to connect. I don't know what Jibble is doing with that movement. Drives right into the Faust and he loses his Scott because of it. Meanwhile on the far side, Jibber maybe he's focused over here. Trying to knock out the Panzer IV, not able to do so, and losing a rifle squad as well. Jibber maybe trying to do right too much at once. Direction. Ends up costing him badly. Niklas getting blasted as well. Big losses for the Allies there, right as they were seeming to take it to the Axis. Maybe taking control, they get hammered back. Good bait there into the mine. We have the Katusha and the S-85 alive, so even though, you know, some big losses for Niklas, still has a few of the uh, most important units. Keeps dropping these bazookas, having to come back onto the field and re-pick re them up, recover them. Oh boy! 
of a close call there. I wonder if that would have died to one more shot. I don't think so. Oh, that's a nasty Kachusha hit. Both squads getting away alive. T-34. Not able to finish the job either, perhaps. He's coming in. He's going for it, but the Panzer IV's there. Partially repaired. He really wants these wipes. Greedy stuff here from Niklas. Does have enough munitions for a bombing strike himself here. He might try to drop that during the chaos, and he's thrown away his combat engineers. I don't know why they went in so deep there. Opportunities down the center. <laughs> this is carnage, man. So many losses, but so many aggressive plays as well. Against like a double OKW team, though, the allies do have the double off map combo. They knock out those tech trucks very quickly. So maybe we're going to see like a combo, but Nicholas with a lot of munis. Big time fuse hits there. We can play up from Nicholas. T-34 on the build. Comes the Jackson anti-tank raid a little bit too early though. No engine crit. Whoa! The Kit and Shrek combo pushing in quite deep here. Picks off Jibber's V3 mortar half-track. Plus, maybe a little bit light on infantry, doesn't have that, that many screening troops. Allows that to happen there. Some new grenades out there. Still has enough firepower to win, though. Hold on to the VP. PS3 is getting forced away. He's going for the third tech truck here, though. Maybe stalling for the King Tiger. Rebuild on the Howie, by the way. This is a terrible idea. Absolutely terrible idea. You already lost one. What are you doing rebuilding this? Niklas, he was just licking his lips, hoping they'd have a target. He had you know, like 600 munitions burning a hole in his pocket. He was waiting for that to happen. That was just a terrible decision from Make-A-Wish. Absolutely awful. Maybe he doesn't have a read on what Niklas's commander is. Oh, well, put a pin in that. Hands are falling some trouble. Oh, and Jibba finds the damage. Gets the job done. Sector Assault dropped down here. Damage in. One damage up to the T-34. A T-gun decrewed by the Obers, combining with the planes. Scott here just out of the zone. The Rakitin not going in for the follow-up kill on the AT gun. I think that's a mistake from Make-A-Wish. He's got a second Panzer IV back there. Just about back up to full strength now. Katusha also. That's a close call. Just out of the circle. I wonder if he's paying attention to that or not. But now the axe is definitely battered back. You can see they are way behind an army size. Investing all of that into the howitzer. Just such a huge loss. 
I need some smart plays here to turn this one around. Thinking about picking up the bazooka, perhaps. Can become a pretty potent anti-tank squad if you get the Shrek and the bazooka. Oh, loses his rear echelon just as they were jumping on the gun. But that's a second Jackson now for Jibber. Pops the AP ammo. Oh, the Jackson missed though. Very lucky for Make-A-Wish. A bounce was that from the AT gun with the AP ammo equipped. And a miss from one of the Jacksons. Make-A-Wish needed that. Well, the Axis needed that. Got a bar now for Jibber. And he gets the wipe on the fault screen it is. Typically, you know, when I play tactical support, I'm not a big fan of going for bars and M1919s on the rifleman. Because I like to use my munitions on, you know, the recon plane. But, in this case, you know, with time on target, not really a very good ability. Uh... Spend your munis on the bars as well. Sure, especially if you already got weapon racks to get some bazookas. That makes a lot of sense. Cheshire Rear Rumble. We've got the quad out now for Nicholas so he can shoot down the next set of planes. Not that they're particularly close. A lot of munis to go still on that department. Oh boy. That might have been a wipe, but no suppression kicks in in time. Panther for Make a Wish next. P3 is still stalling for that King Tiger, has picked up a second Raketan. Try and access, answer this armor. Here comes the Kachusha Barrage. Oh, this could be the end of the Raketan as soon as it hits the field. Really well done. Super close range. Down it goes. Oh boy, but Raketan coming in from the side takes out the Scott. Well done by Make-A-Wish. Double Jackson's out the back there. Kitten maybe getting in a bit too deep. No, Jib is going to play it safe. Get out of there early. Meanwhile, we've got Niklas coming in deep here. Going for the tech truck kill. Gets it quite easily. In fact, you know, he didn't even need the bombing strike. He had uh, so much firepower there. Oof, big damage on the Panther though. S-85 focus sight mode revealing it back there. Major dead meanwhile to the... Oh, could it be blobbed through the center? Mine going off there as well. Also a good place to spend your munis on in this commander with their rifleman field defenses. Big booby trap up over here. This be the end of the quad. I think the kitten's a little bit too far back. One's going off there. Ober's in some big trouble. They went down so fast. Might have been right on the edge of the river there. Boosting up the damage from the uh, T-34's machine guns massively. High casualties, but still... Guys are way ahead, PS3 is taking some big losses between the Obers and the uh, and the Raketan. This King Tiger is still costing the Axis a lot. It's going to need that to be incredibly effective for the uh, Axis to remain competitive. And they still have to worry about, you know, like just T-34 Ram shenanigans. Two Zissers, one of them pretty well vetted. Not going to be easy for that King Tiger. No Faust off here by Make a Wish. Had to take some big hits as well. Big hits from the Jacksons. 
Here comes the King Tiger, close range caddy, super close. Look at how f close he drove it. Bit five Raketon, gonna go down here. Try and dodge forwards of the barrage, and it seems to work. King Tiger coming in from the side here. Doesn't have much support though with the double anti tank guns. Don't know if this is gonna work. Might be able to decrew one of them. No, Niklas able to get it out of there in time. Shots on the side now. Gets around the corner though. Here comes the Sturmpire with the Shrek. And uh, the Rakitin, that reinforced really quickly. Back on the front lines already. Oh boy, could the Shreks keep pace here? One more shot, I think, even from the Shrek, and that will go down. But he gets suppressed. Not able to get the killing blow. Out of the river here getting eaten for lunch by these riflemen. Look how fast he's getting decrewed. Do not want to be in the river against that small arms damage. I don't know where. I haven't watched the Star Series on cover. River cover. Or water cover. Different to road negative cover. Though they're both red shield. We go bombing strike out the back. Take care of the Schwer Panzer headquarters. So the Allies finally getting going on those truck kills. Oh boy, some pathfinding issues from Jibber. Loses one of his Jacksons. Trying to get in there for the Rifleman snare, but he's dropping down too quickly in the face of those double overs. Coming in here for the kill. OKW team looking well here. Allies getting a little bit overwhelmed. Panther unable to find the kill shot though. Before able to get away. King Tiger also backing off. And the Scots getting some big hits. Could see an Ober go down. T34 hoping for the wipe. Oh boy. Might have bitten off more than he could chew though. King Tiger's waiting around that corner. The Rakitin stayed set up facing this direction. Probably would have got the kill there, but tried to push it into the center, unfortunately. Either way, King Tiger getting off to a strong start. I think the Axis did need like maybe one more kill. Maybe if they managed to knock out a T-34. Might have been... Niklas kind of just cruising along. Useless for days. Even a T-34 kill doesn't really matter. You could instantly rebuild it. Just Soviets in the late game, you know, just don't seem to bleed that much manpower. Enemy forces are neutralizing a sector. Just taking full advantage of that. Sturm officer. Dodging away from the kitten nicely. Is are behind on the VPs, but not by too much. Are losing control over here, though. Jackson's not having much success there. Scott could be in some trouble now. Have to chase him around the corner here. That's for dealing with the rifleman, meanwhile. Rebuild on the rifleman, by the way, from Jebba. Wants to keep that four rifle composition. The T gun goes down so quickly, though. There's double overs in the Panzer IV Vet V. Some nasty hits. Jebba now actually quite down on army. Niklas going to need to do some carrying, but he's out back repairing still. I want to recover the AT gun. There seems to be an issue for Make-A-Wish. Not able to follow up, kill off the decrew weapons fast enough on a couple of occasions now. Need to make that a higher priority. Okay, here we go. Coming in here, Jibber maybe taking a bit of a risk. 
not repairing up the Scott, using it in combat. But Panther does get forced off eventually. This race now doesn't have many defenses on the far side. Away from his King Tiger. Oh boy, the Kachusha, what was that? Drives it right in close, maybe for a wipe on this, but it pays the price. Loses it, that's a big loss. That was a Vet 2 Katusha, I believe. Lost his cooldown bonus on that now. We are losing territory. Big kill for PS3, yes. I imagine it's going to be another Rakitten for him next. Still needs some more support for that King Tiger. Ogre's in here. Just going to town. Good dodge away from the grenade though from Chiba. Tech truck down from Make-A-Wish. Keeping the uh, King Tiger open as an option once he eventually saves enough. It seems like the axe is happening, maybe struggling a bit on fuel. Oh, big hits here. Rifleman going down really fast. Mr. 5 rolling forwards. Okay, Rakim retreating there. Took one shot from the Scott. Didn't want to risk it. A couple close calls for Jibber's Rifleman as well. A lot of manpower bleeds. For Jibber, those Rifleman, you know, they don't get a reinforcement buff. Like... Conscripts or tier 4 uh, grenadiers so just absorb that manpower loss oh massive hits oh the AT gun misses the kill shot heartbreaker there for Jibber lucky break for make a wish though Nexus are just grinding with their way back in his army size, they're just climbing slowly. Walking Stuka next for PS3. So I think that's actually a really good choice, Nicholas. The double AT guns. Just in general, you know, such a good map for the Walking Stuka. So small for a 2v2. You can almost just <laughs> throw a Walking Stuka anywhere on the map and you'll hit something. Your density's so high on this map. Kachucha Barrage here. Pretty good hits. Catch some retreating models as well. Machine gun goes down. Walking Stuka, is he going for the counter barrage? He's going through the center. <laughs> Monster hits there. Conscripts clumped on the sandbags go down. Oh, the Ogres did as well. The Casualties continue, got Button, King Tiger, able to break free of that though, getting just out of range. T-34 coming in, maybe a little bit too late to go for some ram action though, King Tiger. Far enough back, he's safe. Huge start for the Walking Stuka though, 10 kills, squad wipe. Uh-oh. Coming in here with the bazooka. Just the bazooka though. Doesn't have the shreks as well. Get the shrek as well. Would really be posing a threat. Oh, going in for the ambo. Not quite as successful as his teammates walking stuka. Still a decent start. Three kills. Quite a decent amount of it. Respectable. Officer here providing vision to PS3, yes. So for 50 sight range, so it's actually uh, quite handy in these scenarios. Spotting long range. And this raquette to really get the job done. Also helpful for the King Tiger. Spotting uh, pre-spearhead mode, but he's got that spearhead, so he's got the vision. And there we go, another quad down. He built it, quickly lost it again. Kind of low on munitions for upgrading another one. He's going to do it nonetheless. Do have Make-A-Wish 
with enough munis for the plane, so sensible by Niklas here to rebuild that. Gets himself another squad of guards, which I think is also sensible. He briefly started another T-34, but cancelled it. I think he does need the infantry. He's kind of burned through his manpower reserves, though. Had, you know, about 800 at one stage, as well as a full army. So he's definitely been taking some casualties. And here we go, here comes another walking Stuka. Not as successful with this one, no kills at all. Nades exchanged. Tiger rolling up. Only T guns are there though. Just range caddy on the overs. Try and dodge forwards of it, and it works out. Wow. Staying cool under pressure there, throwing out a grenade on the guards, but here comes the T-34. I think he was maybe going for a counter barrage, going for the Kachusha. Didn't quite line it up correctly though. Whoa, it's cool on that T-34, it does get away. Not the end of the world to lose that T-34, but it's Vet 2. Be a shame to lose veterancy at least can afford the resources the enemy now had 200 points. King Tiger with spearhead mode just munching down these riflemen kind of surprised how well it's done he's uh, handled it impressively Remember, you know, with the double weapons, you do want to retreat a little bit earlier. You want to lower your chances of dropping them by going down to one model. Oh! That was a quick kill. I didn't even see it. So the double anti tank gun SU 85 combo knocking out that Panzer IV in the blink of an eye. in here from the Scott. Surprised we're not seeing some more recon plane usage from Niklas, but he is a little bit low on munitions. Could also maybe consider putting down a cache. A muni's cache to try to boost up his muni income. The Jibba, cleaning in reserve, has not ticked grenades yet. I do think he really needs grenades on his rifleman. That's the next thing to go for when you're you know, maxed out your rifleman with weapon upgrades like he has. Don't need to use time on target on anything. Get the grenades, start spamming them. You know, in these late game scenarios, it can be hard. Oh, he's so blobbed up, he spreads out though. It can be hard to find time to plant rifleman mines. You can always just spam grenades. Still very tight on the VPs, but allies. Point leaves. We're still with enough munis for those planes. He hasn't pulled the trigger on that yet. She's ready to fire out the back here. Allies getting a bit of a push coming through the center. King Tiger could be in some trouble. He's uh, within two hit range there, I think. He's ready five, though. Okay, here come the planes. Panther coming in from the side on the SU-85. This could be the end of the Vet-3 SU-85. No, the planes target the T-34, but still the SU-85 staying in here, not dodging away at all. And he loses it. He loses his anti-tank guns as well. Maybe a bit of uh, bad coordination from the arranged team. Jibba kind of pulled back with his Jacksons. Niklas staying in there with the SU... And now the double over is ripping in as well. Quite shooting down those planes fast, but 
I still managed to do enough there and uh P3 is yes, not hanging about. He knocks out the D crew weapons. Man, it's crazy. It just seems like as soon as one team starts to get some momentum, they just take some big losses. Back and forth constantly in this game. The enemy has 100 points remaining. The kitten's starting to bite now. And plus having trouble avoiding them. Decent idea, playing a bit more broadly. And he has the one panther to contend with on this side. Oh, guards down to the walking stuka. Uh oh. Casualties really starting to stack up now for Niklas. He's gone for a 30 34, so kind of indicates he's trying to go for some kind of big tank all in here. Maybe try and steamroll the King Tiger with some aggressive stuff and maybe mop up. The walking Stukas out the back as well during that process. A lot of repairs required though for the allies. They're going to have to take a backward step to get those repairs done. Big damage onto the rebuilt S-35 now as well. Some scop barrages coming in. Be the end of the raquette and no retreat from PS3 yes. Get away, but the rifleman from the side doing some big damage as well. Here comes the King Tiger, but all the tank destroyers repairing, so can't come forwards to assist. Clearing off the side with the T-34s. Could use some secure mode. Looks like he's going to continue on through. He does have the guards nearby. They're going for the muni point. Does need the munis. Well, maybe not actually. He managed to climb up to 200 all of a sudden. Deal on the AT gun from PS3. Yes, wow. Triple AT guns for him now. Let's make a bit more sense when you can't build any more tanks. You know, he's has to rebuild his Shreer, which hasn't happened yet. Oh! Commander's truck dead. The double bombing strikes, recon plane combo, taking care of that. Oh boy, the Scott did back the other way though. Panther diving in, gets the kill. Double Jackson's not committing to the chase. In fact, that's a triple Jackson. No committal, though. Good damage to the tanks here. There's another walking Stuka. Appears a bit. Not too bad, though. Could have been a lot worse. Fours, maybe thinking about the wraparound flank. Spearhead though. I'm sure providing some good vision. See the T-34s back there. This is setting up. T-34 backing off. The T-34 through the center here. Just the main gun firing though. A bit too far back. Okay, he's, he's thinking about coming in. Backing off now. A lot of anti-tank guns through the center. Where's that Katusha at? Ready to rumble. Seems like maybe he's forgotten about it a bit though. Oh boy! There goes the Jackson. Time on target hitting nothing. Finding issues for Jibber again. I think he lost to Jackson almost in the exact same manner. In the same maneuver. Still allies with the VP lead though, that, that's one constant, not by much, the points, you know, the margin, close to remaining the same, but they're just always ahead. Big hits from the double Scots. Double Kitten staying in here though, no, no there they go. It's that Katusha for Niklas. Man, it's just been out of action for so long now. The 
feels like the walking stukas fired twice. Uh oh, this could be trouble. Bit of a push coming in now for Make a Wish. We've got the Jacksons here though, and they're pretty healthy. Got some smoke, I think, blocking their vision. Missed. King Tiger coming in here aggressively. S-85 gonna get stuck on the trees. Can't get away. Here come the walking stukas now into Jibber's base. Not the best of hits. Could have been a lot worse. Force retreat now from the officer. McKinn coming in now. Jackson just sitting here. Oh boy, and the Panther connects. Jackson's some big trouble. Jibber late to react. He's going to lose that. The Panther can now mop up the Ambo. Here comes the Vet 3 Jackson though from the other side. The Kitten's still in a relevant position though. No snares able to come through. Blitzing out to safety. Good push there for Make-A-Wish. Bold stuff. Niklas not paying attention. Just loses his T-34. Oh boy, the wheels are coming off for the Allies in a big way now. Good aggression from the Axis though. You know, those kind of pushes can go wrong so easily, but they made it work. Obers go down. So do the guards though. With the Obers die. T-34 dead all in here? What was that doing? <laughs> oh, maybe it's chasing down the Obers. Okay. I must have missed the Obers. Uh, death indicator. I couldn't find it somehow. Katusha still hasn't fired, man. What the hell? Still only six kills. He's moved it though, he's ready. He's finally remembered that it's existing. Finds the uh, anti tank guns over here. Good damage. Here comes the walking Stuka though into the Jibber's base and he gets two rifle wipes! Devastating hit there. Oh, PS3, yes, he lost his walking Stuka. Maybe that got taken down by that T 34 dive or something? I don't know. I missed that completely, even with the death indicator. Quad dead now. Not enough munis for the planes, though. Might not have enough manpower to rebuild that, though. King Tiger rolling forwards. Allies getting pushed all the way back here. Really struggling for vision, the Allies. I think that's been their Achilles heel so far this game. Don't have anything really to spot for the Scots. Big issue. Maybe could have tried to squeeze out like a Soviet mortar for, just for flaring purposes. Could have been quite helpful. Because they could do with some extra vision. Bit up Major would be quite nice, but. Are at more risk of losing the major, constantly trying to use it as a bazooka unit. Eventually, you know, tank hits just gonna connect in three models, it's just not that many. Okay, you've got the double SU 85 through the center. Still have a lot of anti tank guns though for PS3, yes. Walking Stuka dead? How? Am I missing something? How did that die? Or maybe it's the Zis. Seems like it's very far back for the Zis. Elias getting triple capped at the moment. They need to do something here. Can't allow this to hold on for too long. Here we go. Jibber getting something going. The wish 5 trying to push through the center on the King Tiger, but the Panther. Raketon coming in from the side. Making this awkward jibbers. Jackson also very low in health. Enough infantry here over to uh, kind of shut down jibber. He's trying to fire, but firing over the trees. Shell's very slow. T-34 
Time on target out the back, slowing down the King Tiger, but the SU-85 getting battered from multiple angles. Backpedaling now, here we go, Niklas making a move. This is back the Rakitin at least. We've opened up the center a bit more, he's going in for the Ram with the V3. But no penetration, no engine crit on the King Tiger. We've got a Jagdpanzer in here now as well, the Panther taking care of the Scots out to the side. Four flanking around. Should be able to knock out the Jagdpanzer. But the V piece. And that's going to do it. Oh man, what a cr crazy back and forth this game. But it, in the late game, it just seemed like the Axis with the superior control just making these really nice pushes into this region of the map, getting a lot of damage done. And uh, eventually grinding down the allies. I felt like maybe the allies didn't quite reach their potential with their unit compositions. You know, at one stage, Jibber had triple Jacksons. Felt like, you know, maybe combining with Niklas with the double T-34s should have been able to just dive in and kill something. But just didn't manage to apply their units that effectively. I think maybe the lack of vision really hurting them, as I mentioned just shortly earlier. Maybe should have seen some more recon planes from Niklas late in this game, especially after they destroyed so many of those Shreer Panzer headquarters. Uh, that could have been quite helpful. Maybe some flares as well. Jibber didn't have that many options. He maybe could have rebuilt the Major, tried to vet it up, but that's... I don't know about that. Who's kind of bleeding manpower like crazy, didn't have enough to go for that, I would say. Forgetting about the Katusha for a long time there as well, probably hurting hurting the allies. But yeah, GG. Well done by the random team there, overwhelming some, you know, very high ranked players. Some uh, pretty good coordination as well. Excellent play. Well, anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.